Welcome to Drinks Tube. My name's Jimmy Smith and I'm a wine educator. And lots of you lovely, jubbly people have been asking questions about wine through Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube and I'm here to answer those questions. So loads of you have been asking questions about corks and the closures of wine, including Andrea Tani. There are three major ways of closing bottles of wine. The first one is cork closures. This is the whole theatre about wine, drawing a cork and that famous, famous sound. Ah, oh, that is a wonderful noise. Corks are devised to let in a little bit of oxygen into the bottle whilst in maturation, so it helps the wine age. There is one little problem with cork at the manufacturing stage. What can happen is little bacteria can actually get into that cork, it becomes flavoured by that cork, and then that comes and seeps into the bottle, and it spoils the wine. This is called cork taint. So of course the industry has diversified and innovatively they've come up with a new product. These are Stelvin closures or screw caps. The whole thing about this is a lot of people think these screw caps are for poor quality wine. It's actually a whole range of wines that use screw caps. The reason being is because screw caps can also age wines as well. They add in a little bit of oxygen. So screw caps are not a bad thing. They're good for you and I, easy to open, easy to seal and fantastically are keeping the wine very, very fresh. So another question asked is that does wine have to be old to be the best? The answer is no, it doesn't, because you've got lots of different wine styles, lots of different wine grapes. For example, we've got in front of us a very old wine here from 1968 that can develop over long periods of time with tannin, with acidity and complexity. But other wines, Sauvignon Blanc for instance, can be drunk much sooner because they don't have that tannin compounds. They're better drunk in the first couple of years. So good wines can be drunk in the first few years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, whatever. It depends on the type of wine style. Lots of you have been asking questions about organic wines or the correct terminology, wines made from organically grown grapes and including Danielle Keel who has asked if organic wines have less tannins and are less likely to give her an instant headache. So organic wines don't necessarily have less tannin, it depends on the style of the organic wine. But yes, it is the tannin that can dehydrate you. You need to actually pick wines that have lower tannins. Styles such as Pinot Noir, Beaujolais, Côte de Rhone, they won't give you that instant headache. So that's some of your frequently asked questions answered. If you have any more questions, please ask us on Twitter, we're on Facebook, Instagram, or you can ask us in the comments below, and I'll be glad to answer. Cheers.